Hi, I'm John and we're here with the new Mungo Enterprises R0 module is a modeling reverb. Listening to the straight through signal. I can hear you too. A E I O U. Can you hear me? I can hear you too. We can compare that to the full reverberated output. A E I O U. Can you hear me? I can hear you too. A E I the main controls are a size and then the positions of the source and the receiver and down this side are a ratio to change the width to the depth of the room, a decay and a filter. Without using the zoom we can I go can from quite small A rooms. You hear me? I can hear you too. A E I O U. Up to large halls. A E I O U. Can you hear me? I can hear you too. A E I O U. Can you hear me? I can hear you too. A E I O U. Can you hear me? I can hear you too. A E I O U. That's changing the position of the source within the room. We can change the position of the receiver. A E I O U. Can you hear me? I can hear you too. A E I O U. Can you hear me? I can hear you. As you get closer to the source, the reverberations disappear. A E I O U. Can you hear me? I can hear you too. A E I O U. At extreme decay times, we get a reverse gate type of effect. This gives us a good opportunity to hear the filter effects. Clockwise creates high pass filters on each reflection and counterclockwise creates low pass filters. With particularly extreme decay times, and sizes, we can get delay type effects, reducing the width of the room to nothing. You get straight reflections back to front of the room with very little sideways interaction. So again, sizes can vary from room reverbs right out to extreme larger than physical spaces and right down to smaller than practical.